The whole Bible is about this bride of Christ getting married at the end of the age. Marriage broken down spells merry age. It means that a man and a wife are to be married. Okay? That's what God said. And it's not just religious based names. If you look at the celebrities and some of the most famous people on the planet, a lot of them have names that have Anna hidden in it. Ariana, A R I Anna. You have Rihanna, R I Anna, or R I Ha Na, because Rihanna does portray a sort of dark version of Christ, I think. You've got Madonna, Mad Anna, Anastasia, Anastasia, Amy Lee from Evanescence, you know. You know, Amy. Millie Cyrus's name does not connect, but at the same time, Cyrus is supposed to be like a female enchantress, and she was most famous for her role as Hannah Montana. And yeah, that is like if you take off the H, it's Anna, Mount Anna. Stina can be broken down to Christ in A, and Aguilera sounds like Are you nearer? Christ in A, Are you nearer? Christina Aguilera. I don't know if you hear the similarities there. Buffy is a big character, you know, the slayer who kills lots of vampires. Um, I'm a big fan of Buffy, but yeah, her middle name happens to be Anne. So I feel like it's pointing to how this Christ isn't going to actually have superpowers, but she's going to be a bit different, just like Buffy was. I believe that all these singers, when they sing their songs, they kind of portray themselves to be this Christ figure, and Christ is able to influence their music to sing through these different singers. Yo, what I gotta do to show these girls that I own them? <laughs> Yeah, I heard you good with them soft lips. Yeah, you know word of mouth. And all these names point to. Even though a lot of these singers aren't like what you would describe a god to be like, my version of God is actually someone who just wants to be herself, and humans are made in her image, and therefore, if humans aren't godly, then neither is she. Because being a god isn't defined by being godly, it's defined by a power that you have inside of you. You know, like Santa Claus. If Santa Claus existed, and chose one year not to give presents to people, that doesn't mean he's not Santa Claus, because, you know, Santa Claus is a person, and they have a right to choose how they want to be. Another example would be like if a wild animal chooses to act like a pet for a little while you know that doesn't mean that it's not a wild animal just because something acts differently to how it should act doesn't mean that it's not what it actually is and likewise i believe that god too can choose how she wants to be even if it's not to humans definition of what a god is you know she has flaws just like humans do and okay rihanna and madonna and people like this you know they might not be perfect but neither is god that's what i believe and these singers when they sing in their songs you know they represent her different sides of her which is what i believe hence why anna is a repetitive theme inside their names you can't do it with all the singers names but weirdly enough i feel like the names that don't connect to my name do connect to me in other ways hence why i started believing that i was christ but nothing happened but yeah right now i'm focusing on the name anna because i still think there's something to this even if it's not pointing to me. But it's not just celebrity names, there's a huge amount of female names that have Anna contained in it, like Joanna, Hannah, Roxana, dot 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 dot. And there's loads of others. I've looked on a website and there's like literally 1,600 names that have Anna contained within the name. I believe that women are made in her image, hence why there's so many Anna names inside many female names. Of course they're not doing this consciously, but I feel like they're doing this subconsciously. Because subconsciously people are linked to her, and, and if she's called Anna, they want to call their daughters a name that has Anna within it. Indicating how their daughters like this Anna Christ is going to come in the future. And it's not just names of people and places, it's also brand names. Like some of the most successful names could have the name Anna hidden in it, such as Amazon. If you break the M up into two ends, because M looks like two ends, it says Anazon. Or it could say Am Zion, if you add an I. There's also loads of names of places around the world that use the name Anna, like Canada is C. Anada, and Indiana, Indiana, Louisiana, Lo, U is I, Anna, Virginia is Virgin, I, A, A for Anna maybe, Montana, Mount Anna, Havana, Statana, Astana, which could break down to A, Saint Anna, Alabama, all A, Am, A, Alaska, all Ask, A, A for Anna, Arizona, R, I, On, California, Call, I, for I, A, A for Anna. And there are places like this all over the world, like Astana, as Anna, Mecca, Messier, England named as the motherland. You know, I'm not gonna go on to a big long list of that because there's billions and billions of names and they don't all point to Anna. So I'm not gonna go on with the list, but there is a big long list of names that have the word Anna sort of hidden in them. Now I'm just gonna say a few other names that don't have the name Anna in it, but suggest how Christ could be a woman. Mary's believed to be by the Catholics, the mother of God. 
But if Jesus is supposed to be the only begotten Son of God, and if Jesus didn't have a blood father because Mary was supposed to be a virgin, all this suggests is that Mary is actually God, because literally she's the only begotten parent of Jesus. Zion is one of the most important characters in the Bible, it's kind of another name for Israel, um, but if you break that down it says C-I-on, and I indicates that it could be a person, not a place. Israel could break down to is real, so again, a person could be real. Israel, I think, is a real person, unlike Jesus. And I feel like that's what it's hinting. True, these two names could be pointing to anyone, but Israel in the Bible is always talked about as being a female. She's always described as being a she. She's also called Jerusalem, a woman who comes down at the end of the age. She's called the Bride of Christ, a woman in white, or a scarlet woman. Jesus, I care what he said this one, Jesus, us. But in one of the texts it actually says that a virgin will conceive and she will call the name Emmanuel. And if you change the N to an S, it sounds like it's saying is man you well. So it could just be talking about man in general. Since in my religion I believe that Eve was Christ, you know, all humans have come from her. And so this virgin, the Eve character, her children are just everyone is man you well. Hence why I was given the name Emmanuel. Jonah is a story that's complete nonsense and bullshit where a guy gets stuck in a, a whale or eaten by a whale for three days, you know, but Joe, nah, nah, that story's not true. And you also have Noah, Noah, the Noah's Ark story's not true either because it's completely impossible. Then there's the name Eve, you know, I believe in evolution, but I do think that God or Christ has helped with evolution to speed it up. So, you know, evolution was Eve's solution. It's really nice how it rhymes, you know, evolution and solution, very similar. The only difference is that Eve has been added to it. And that's how I feel the evolution of humans have been formed, not just through natural causes, but with the help of Eve and the change in her DNA. And to back that up, her son's called Adam, and well, if you break up Adam, it says a dam, and I feel like that's exactly what her son was. So Eve had this special DNA, she had a son, and she passed her blood into his blood, and he passed that blood onto his children, and so Adam, in a way, did become like a dam, a form of blood barrier, so she passed the blood onto the son, and then there was a few years gap where it stayed in his body, and then he had children, and they passed that, you know, that blood onto them and you know that's exactly what a dam does and so I feel like that backs up my theory. I also feel like Lucifer is just another name for her son and Lucifer broken up can say lose your fur so I feel like when Eve had a child with a semi-evolved monkey that child would have been more like a monkey than she would have been and it would have been a bit hairier and would have had a like form of fur so I feel like this name, Lucifer, is an appropriate name because it says lose your fur, so she would have wanted him to lose his fur, and he did, because when he dies you get reincarnated, and next time he won't be as hairy because the human DNA would have like changed a bit. Satan is another name for Lucifer, I believe that this again is also another name for the son of Eve, who was born on Christmas Day like Christians believe. The name Satan looks a bit like the name Santa, and while well, Santa comes down the chimney at Christmas, and I feel like this is pointing to how Eve had her son at Christmas time, and that's why we worship Santa on Christmas time. Only people have kind of tied Jesus to that birth date, even though they know that's not his birthday, because he was supposed to have been born at the time where shepherds were bringing in their sheep, so we know that Christmas Day isn't his birthday. But because I believe that Satan is another name for Eve's child, I feel like that backs up the theory. And people traditionally say Merry Christmas, and I feel like that ties to, you know, Mary's Christmas. Not saying that Mary, Jesus of Nazareth's mother, is the real Christ, but just saying how, you know, it's Mary, I feel like, is another name for this Eve Christ. But she's not going to be called Mary in the future, she's going to be called Anna. But, um, yeah, um, Merry Christmas points to how it's Mary's Christmas Christ Mass, not Jesus's. Then you've got Isis, is I, or I is. She's another powerful female goddess who can reincarnate people. Isis is the original Mary. Many biblical scholars believe the Mary character was actually taken from the Isis character. Isis was believed to have a kid with a king, but the king died, and legend says that this king was reborn in her stomach. I know Isis is recognized as a terrorist group in the Middle East, but it also has a name, is ill. Kali is also a goddess that takes revenge on evil guys and it says K or I or cool I um, and yeah I think that's just the cool side of this Christ that's going to come. You know everyone has good and bad sides and at times people can get very angry and, and you know see these different sides in themselves and I feel like she's going to be like that. Gaia, the mother earth goddess, G-I-A, A for Anna. Diana, moon and birth goddess. Take off the D, it says I Anna. Okay so when I first started making this list, I kind of thought there was something to it because my name's Anna, I'm also born on the third day. In April, Jesus was supposed to rise on the third day. 
April is like Easter time. Three days before April 3rd was April 1st, so April Fool's Day. I fooled you about Jesus. So yeah, I, I feel like there was lots of stuff that pointed to, to me being Christ. And even though I was unaware of it, you know, I feel like the Christ that's going to come in the future is going to be completely unaware of who she is until a certain day when she wakes up. And I feel like it's going to be someone who's like me um, in the sense of seeing all these things, only they will be successful at preaching it to the world. Um, but because of this, I started looking into my surname. My surname is B. Um, and I noticed there's so many things that tie to that as well. If that's going to be the surname of the future Christ, you know, is she going to be called Anna B? I don't know. I mean, maybe she's called like I don't know, Anna Butterworth or whatever. And B could just be like a shortened down name. But yeah, I've got, I've got reasons to believe that Christ's surname could begin with a B. Blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place. I'm sure you've also heard the term blessed be to God. She leads a lonely life. Though I walk through the wilderness, blessed be your name. This is just what I'm going to add because um, I want to let you know what you think. You know, I've seen lots of stuff that ties to the name Anna. I've also seen lots of stuff that ties to the name B. You know, you've got Queen B. In a beehive, there's always one queen at the top. Buzz TV, um, get the buzz is, is a kind of a good common expression for, you know, wanting to hear the news, the latest news. Deborah is a character in the Bible who's called the judge. She's the only female judge. God is also called the judge and she led a whole army against um, this oppressive king and she won the war and got him to flee and stuff. Deborah actually means B so I feel like oh that's interesting that that's my surname as well. You've got lamb. Christ is often called the lamb of God but for some reason the spelling of lamb has a silent B at the end which doesn't really make any sense but if you break up lamb it says I am B. And so I feel like it could be suggesting that Christ's surname is going to be begin with B because that then ties all the Anna name connections and this connection too. Also, lambs are supposed to be cute and innocent and Jesus doesn't have that impression of cute and innocent. So I think whoever's going to be, you know, coming in the future, I think this Christ that's going to come in the future, I think she's going to be very attractive and, and cute in a way. But a lot of girls are, so that's that doesn't mean that much. But yeah. Bees help pollinate. Without pollination, the world wouldn't exist. ABBA as well, okay, my initials are ABB, and I've noticed how ABBA, which means God or Father, if you take off the B, it, it's my initials, Anna Belinda B. Get the buzz. And if you change the Bs to an ends, then it says Anna, again, there's sort of two connections that could point to me. Then you've got Jezebel, which is a big character in the Bible. Okay, she's supposed to worship the wrong God, but at the same time, I don't worship the God of the Bible. I think the God of the Bible is evil, and I feel like the whole Bible is a deceptive test so that God, the real God, has created some sort of fake God in the Bible to see who would worship, to see who would believe it, to see who would want to follow this God. But really, the real Christ is going to believe in a different God, just like Jezebel did. Jezebel worshipped a different God, and okay, there was a war, and she did lose. She did get eaten by dogs and stuff, but at the same time, Christ is supposed to suffer. Christ is supposed to go through a tribulation, so just in the same way that Jezebel suffered, that is what Christ is supposed to have done. And I noticed that Jezebel broken down. If you take off the letter L, it says G's A, B, and well, yeah, I am A, B, so I feel like that's one more thing that points to me, but maybe it points to another Anna B in the future. Abaddon as well is the name of the beast that comes out of the bottomless pit at the end of the age. Break that down, it says A, B, Adon. So it's just Anna B's add-on to the Bible. In Revelation, it calls the Antichrist Abaddon or Apollyon, but it's interesting how Abaddon can also be broken up to say A, B, Adon. And Apollyon, if you break that up, well, Polly is supposed to mean a wished-for child, usually a girl. I know a Polly Pocket always comes into mind. And it's interesting how Pollyanna is actually a very famous old-fashioned name. That definitely points to Anna. It could be a future Christ with the initials of AB. There's also a popular saying which is God is able. If you add two lines it says God is AB. And then you've got phrases like mote it be which is what you say at the end of the spell. So mote it be. Or bless it be at the end of a prayer. Obey. AB. There's loads of these sort of words. Annie is your nanny. Cause she's a goddess. You never got this. Who am I? Just guess. There's one more biblical character that I think points to me which is Babylon the Great, which is a big character in the Bible, particularly in Revelation. She'll be loved by the kings of the world and then she'll fall in a bed and go through a tribulation, but that's what Christ is supposed to do. Christ is supposed to go through some sort of tribulation. But yeah, if you break down Babylon, it says baby, Lun, and I'm born in London, so I felt like that tied to me because, you know, I'm I'm Anna B, and I was born in London, born on the third day in April, but you know, maybe it could be pointing to another Anna B that would be born in London, but 
there's only one thing that suggests that it's born in London. So, you know, Lund could also be code for like Lonsdale or something like that. I, I, I don't know, but that's just something I've noticed. So I just thought I'd bring it out there. UK is also called though the mother country. So I feel like if Christ is going to come from somewhere, it's going to likely be from England because, um, you know, that's where a lot of the traveling has come from. A lot of people travel from England to Australia or England to America. And I feel like that does point to how if Christ is going to come in the future, there's a high chance that she's going to come from the motherland, UK, England. UK is also called United Kingdoms and God's supposed to unite kingdoms. So I feel like there's a little bit there. Is she going to be both? Born from this place maybe not you know there's also prophecies about how Christ will come from Bethlehem so um, I don't know maybe there's a, a small town called LON something 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 in Bethlehem in which case these prophecies can be filled in a different way um, but yeah that's just a theory that I've brought up I was born in April time in Easter time but yeah like I said um, if, if it's someone else then they too could be born in Easter time I do think though they're very likely to be born on the third day that's um, a high a high chance but I don't know I feel like someone will come with just as many connections that connect to me only maybe there'll be tons more things that connect to them I, I don't know this is just what I'm seeing this is what I believe now because